Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and that. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. All right, coming in with Empire, The Depth of Grief. The Depth um, of Grief. If you are not a fan of Mermaid now, subscribe to the channel, go ahead and do so. You probably come back every week anyway. So go ahead and do that. Rate the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. At this point, it doesn't even matter. You've already been counted. Yeah. I will say about this episode, I actually enjoyed it. It yeah. wasn't much to it, but I actually did enjoy this episode. Yeah, I, I was expecting for it to come back with a little bit more fire than that. Well. But, you know, they had two weeks of rash. Yeah, you know our standards are a little lower than they usually <laughs> are, so. I'll take it. But happy Halloween to you all that celebrate Halloween. If you don't celebrate Halloween, then happy Hallelujah night to you. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, like you said, like, uh, like Lynette's saying, too much happened like, tonight. Um, but we find out some very good, interesting stuff tonight. Mm -hmm. So we see uh, Lucius is still trying to get Devon ready to make that paper. And Devon is not coming through with the fire. He ain't good enough. Hmm. So you can see Devon getting a little upset with Lucius. Like, you ain't even give me a chance to even finish singing the lyrics, Flyer. <laughs> but first of all, moving forward, after Jamal came over there and tried to, you know, they tried to motivate Devon to, you know, whatever. Yeah. While Lulu was talking about Devon to Jamal, like, he won't sit in there. Mm hmm And I'm sitting here like, you know he can hear you. Yeah, right? he's sitting. Yeah, he's sitting right but one thing I can enjoy that I do appreciate about Lucius, Lucius can get you all the way together. Yeah, and he's not, he not gonna let you come out haphazard either. You know, well, you, it's a bad look on him. Yeah. So even though, and I like he said, just because you can sing don't mean that you are a great singer. And I can feel it. Or in other words, you record ready. But what that remind you of? Was it season one or season two when they brought back all the greats? Yeah. I think we were around, we were around somewhere. Around. And they were having problems with that white lady. Yeah. And she was like, and Cookie was like, I need you to feel this song. Oh, yep. I need you to sing the song <laughs> like I told you, like I said. And she got that book. She said, don't look at me that way. Yeah. <laughs> I said, there you go. But so, that, I mean, that's the thing you do, man. If you, really? if, you, if, if you tell me something and I don't feel it, I know it ain't coming from your heart. Because when somebody tell you something from their heart, you definitely feel it's that thing. supposed to do something for you. Yeah. So, come to find out that Devon was holding back because he lost his girl. Not because he cheated, not because he wanted a good man, mm. but because he wasn't about to turn up life at that time. He won't have no sex, he won't go into the clubs, he won't go. But usually, but usually, y'all don't leave us for nothing like that. Usually, we'll leave y'all for something like that. You want to know what I really think it is? I think Devon got saved in the middle of their relationship. So they probably had already been banging it out, turning up, doing whatever. He went to church with his grandma one Easter Sunday morning, got his life together, came back to her, and he on the skits now. Yeah. And she's like, this ain't the Devon that I got in the relationship with. Because you can't tell me that if this was the relationship she got into, she would have had no problems with that. So him going cold turkey on her is the problem. Yeah, he switched up in the middle of the relationship, and that one was she signed up for. Yeah, you could be true. They didn't give us that backstory, but that do sound good, though. Yeah, yeah, I know how it works. But I appreciate what he said was, he said, I had to direct all my energy to my family, which we know her, his sister yeah. is disabled, and my music. And we realized that when you really, really want something in life, you got to make sacrifices. So he, mm -hmm. he sacrificed the cooch, man. I, yeah. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Say praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Won't he do it? So fast forward the episode, we see uh, Lucius that was talking to the dude. I don't remember his name. It don't even matter. Mm -hmm. About signing Devon. But he was like, you know, I need to hear him first to see what he got. But Lucius was like, hey, you can come through to his premiere. But you got to realize there's going to be some other cats going to be there. And they interested. So I don't know if you're going to get them. But that's Luke's mm -hmm. playing game. You know how he do lying. Because I ain't seen nothing there. Nobody there but that dude. So he said that he going to sign him. They charge him double. Because he came with a price. He was like, no, nah, we're going to get double. And it's about to be triple in a few minutes. Yeah. You know, and so he said we're going to send him paper. But I don't trust that dude. Because the whole time yeah, he was up him. the top. He, he, was just he like, had this weird look on his face like, yeah. Uh, you know what? I thought I'm he was going to shoot down through the crowd. I think I think he's gonna try to snatch Devon from them like everybody else been doing. Every person that they've been getting as we seen somebody come along that's bigger and better and take them for themselves. 
Okay, at this point, he can't consider like this dude wasn't got the money. So I don't know. We so we got we got our eyes on that on that player. Mm hmm But let me tell you, cause I don't know if you're gonna talk about this part. When Devon got up there, and he actually he had his breakthrough. He got up on stage and he sung his song and he sung the hell out of his yeah. song. Yeah. And then Jamal got up there to join in on a song. And you know what it remind me of? The way they were going back and forth with each other. Because they kind of do have the same sound. But yeah, they do. Yeah. Devon don't have that Billy Go Gruff going on. <laughs> but you know what it remind me of when Casey and JoJo was on. And they said, come on. Ooh, ooh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would do what? What would do the other word? Who, 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 yeah. I said, all right, go ahead, KC and JoJo. Just yeah, go ahead and break it down. But they sounded good. So we got Mr. Kai done been found. I ain't think they're going to find him. I ain't even going to lie. I thought they had killed him off that quick. I, like on on, uh, on the hangover, they said, once uh, Bangkok gets you, they don't let you go. So I thought it was going to be the same with him over there and uh, over overseas there. But he been found. But come to find out that... Uh, he ain't been taking his medicine. But see, I don't I'm know. Yeah. So I don't know if it's because he was over there and was on the run. But that was only for like not too long. Like, but but the doctor was talking like as if he had been taking his medicine for like months. Because yeah. he said the virus is real present in your in your blood in your in your blood. So I'm like, wait you're a not minute. Oh uh, yeah. And that's like, well, I don't know how quickly your levels can go up and down, but I know it takes a while to get your levels to come down. Yeah. So does that mean that as soon as you stop taking the medicine, they shoot back, back up? up? Yeah. So you know, like you can't miss a day. Yeah. So how that work? So I said, is <clears throat> Kai being reckless with his medicine? Yeah. Or is that just the way it goes? Somebody educate yeah. me down in the um, comments. Yeah, actually. indeed. So the doctor was going over and telling, you know, saying what was going on with Kai that, you know, he all right and everything. And while Cook was in the rooms, you know, he blurted out about the HIV, and of course, Cookie Wheels got to turn it. And any concern, mom, but I ain't know the doctor's supposed to do that. Usually, when they want to give that kind of pertinent, because of HIPAA law, because of those pertinent information, they're supposed to ask everybody to leave. Well, he did. And Kai said this is family they can stay. So, oh, really? I, mean, I must have. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, it bent but, Cookie the wrong way, and I think. For, to decide with her, it would have bent me the wrong way too. If, yeah, anywhere. yeah, that had been my child, and come to find out, and that's because of the stigma that we put around HIV and AIDS. Because we still thinking of it back in the eighties and the nineties that it came from a green monkey. There's no cure. Do what? You know, you, yeah, there was a green monkey over Africa. They tell us we used to bleed that bull skit. But uh, we just used to seeing people just willing in a way to have AIDS and about yeah. a year or so later, they're gone. It yeah. don't happen that way no more. We in modern technology. They 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 say they ain't found a cure yet. But, but I believe they don't found a cure. They, they just ain't they just ain't releasing it because Matt Johnson don't got it no more. So what did he take? And we know somebody personally that had it that don't yeah. have it no more. So and so I guess money. so I guess you gotta have the right amount of um and this person has Lucini. Money. Yeah. So, um, be able to make that happen. So, yeah. <clears throat> so at that, that done. so at that premiere, of course, Cookie being Cookie, the concerned mama, she rolled up on Kai after Lucius told her said, and I was proud of um Lulu. Yeah, Lulu he was said, <laughs> Lulu said, you know what, Cookie, you're concerned about him just as well as I'm concerned about him. If that yeah. boy had the determination in his heart to make it out of there alive, no passport, mm -hmm. no money, no cell phone, and he yep. made it back over here alive in one piece, that dude has a determination for life that I ba basically he said, my son is in good hands. Exactly. He's not going to do anything. That was a good point, though. That was a yeah. good point. He said he's not going to do anything to jeopardize the health of our son or yep. himself. And he was like, Cookie, leave it alone. The cookie was like, he said, I <laughs> Who I'm talking to? Is this, is this Lucius or Dwight? Or Dwight. And he was like, <laughs> It's I me. I told you, leave it alone. Uh huh. But so she, she didn't. But she didn't. She rolled up. I mean, she, any mama would have did it. Yep. You know, mama's, mama's and them boys, man. We already Some talked mama. about a hundred times the mama's and the boys. I, and them you know, girls can go to hell, but them boys. Yeah. Mm -mm. So Kai pretty much got her straight, told her, you know, I really care about Jamal. I would never ever do anything to jeopardize his health, which makes sense because he love him the way he love him. He ain't gonna give him AIDS because that's gonna that's well not AIDS HIV, 
uh, because that can jeopardize their relationship. Yeah. He don't want to lose them. And he went through all that and still here and going to do that? Nah. And he broke Cookie down. He said, let me tell you, because she was saying, I know what that can do to a person. I watch those women in jail. Yeah. Whether or way, turn into something that was unrecognizable. The stigma. And he was like, hold on. First of all, I'm a black man with HIV. AIDS a is a totally different That's thing. Different. Basically, with medicine, I'm undetectable. He was like, no, I would never. And he broke it down. And I said, okay. Mm -hmm. And he said, I love your son. And Cookie was like, you do? He's like, yes. And I said, okay. And he won her back over. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that she had the conversation with him so so he could kill the elephant yeah, in the yeah, room and educate her on how this thing really works. But I, I'm glad at the end of the show they were talking about going to that where it was a black black HIV dot org black right. AIDS HIV. I may have to go check that out to educate myself so I know what's what's going on out here in these. Uh, All I know I ain't got it because I get my test so I don't need to read up on nothing. Else. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's ignorant, y'all. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but uh, we we finally found out. No, before I talk about that, we're gonna talk about Mr. Andre. Oh God. So Mr. Andre is in a fit because he's trying to get money to send back to his boys in prison. That's which which I appreciate that, you know. So pretty much he having what you call survivor's remorse. Mm. You know, he done survived, so now I need to go back and take care of the brothers that took care of me when I was in the joint. But obviously he tried to have some money to come through with the players he was at the school with. I guess they didn't come through. Called them animals. Uh, yeah, it was calling them animals and stuff like that. He was like, you know, y'all don't understand. Everybody in prison. Ain't a bad person. Ain't a bad person. You One know? mistake, you could be there. Exactly. So... He was mad about that, so Cookie told him, you know, uh, no, well, first he told Cookie, I need to apologize to you, because when you was in jail, I disowned you. Matter of fact, I told all my you friends dead. that you were dead. I said, well, darn, Audrey. But I, I feel him, though, because... It's an easier answer. Yeah, I, I can feel him, because I, when I was in school, my mom and dad had got locked up. Mm -hmm. And so it was a big stigma. Every time somebody came around, you they either made fun of you about it, you can hear people whispering about it, da 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 And, you know, you had to do what you had to do to survive. So you just start lying, you know, saying, my, you know, my mom and man in jail, they on vacation. Mm. Just like your ex-pastor was. <laughs> 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 he was on vacation every That bitch was in jail. That nigga was in jail. Yeah. And the jail system was so petty, y'all. He only went to jail on weekends. Yep. And they knew he was a pastor. Why he, he, he preaching on Sunday, but you got him in jail. And probably didn't let him out until like 1, 2 o'clock when he didn't know church <laughs> over. When so he, he can't preach. Yo, uh, <laughs> and he probably went straight to go to corral where the rest of the saints was at make sound <laughs> feel like he done preached all day. And he tied. So, uh, Cookie told him that... And he was not my pastor. <laughs> So Cookie told he was like, because uh, he told Cookie I'm upset because I can't help them out. I don't got the money to help them out. Cookie was like, maybe I failed you if the only thing you think we got to offer is money. I do have a question though. Uh huh. Where's Andre's money? Andre was an independent man with the whole family and the whole household to itself. You mean to tell me when the Empire Dynasty went down, his money went away too? Probably. Well, how? It probably was all tied up in, in, in Empire stock. Or he probably and probably lawyer <clears throat> fees too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they 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 uh they took all that money. I said so. Andre broke too. But she told him a good thing. Uh, money ain't always the answer. I, I know nah. the players do need some money. And you just just pray for them. You know, yeah, yeah. Until, you, until you come up on your money. <laughs> tell that baby mamas to put some oodles of noodle money on their books or something. Yeah. So when Cookie told that told him that they got his wheel turning, he thought about Quincy. So he went back and talked to Quincy and said, you know what, brother, you are a good kid. You got a bright you. future. I'm going to get you out of here. Quincy like, so you going to break me out of here? I'll just say, I said, no. No, uh, no. We're not, because that guard was like. That ain't what we about to do. No, nah, that ain't what we about to do. So, uh, it was this time up, so Andre got to talking to his mom. And uh, she, she still won't give him the draws. Until now. she found out who Andre really was. And... He was like, you know, innocent men like you need to get out. And he was like, but what if I'm not innocent? And she was like, huh? He was like, no. I never I'm said not, I, I didn't never kill said, her. I never said I didn't kill nobody. Said, matter. Of, she was like, so you didn't have no remorse about that? He said, do you want me to lie? He said, she killed my family, my wife, and my child. Mm-hmm. And, and she, she looked at that tattoo that said survival. Uh -huh. No, justice. Justice. 
And she, and she was, was like, like, uh, I gotta go get on my shift. <laughs> Boy, she became scared of Andre real quick. Yeah, she did. But he tried, He came back, he made it right, and caught her off with her shift, and was telling us that, you know what, I'm not the perfect man, but you need me. I'm the man that you need in your life at this point if you want to get your son out of jail. Basically, yeah. I don't care how good you are and how law-abiding you are, everybody needs a hitter yep. on the team. Exactly. Everybody needs somebody that don't give a fuck, mm -hmm. that is ready to lose at any moment. Yep. I think we got about three of them right about now. Yeah. Just say no if you... But but check this uh, out. Though. This is the deep part because she was judging Andre and Andre told her, said, if it wasn't for me to kill him, the killer that was going to kill your son, your son would be, probably be dead right now. So, so why you judge me right now? I kept your So if life. I wasn't the killer, your son be dead. So you better praise the Lord I'm a killer. Uh-huh. That brought her right on around. <laughs> I said, I just need you to get my son out of jail. I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So, you know, sometimes your, your blessings don't come from the place that you think they're going to come from. Many time they might come from a place that don't look too good in your eyes. But as long as it'll help you along the way, well, you better receive it. That's what I told him at work. Sometimes you better stick with the, the devil you know Definitely instead of the devil, devil you don't, don't know. know. So, in closing... <laughs> We finally find out what the hell is yes. going on with uh Hakeem. Cause I you know Hakeem, he got he got he got fully automatic. He he always strapped. Cause we thought it was all because of Blake's getting dad shot. getting shot. But come to find out we didn't know that Tiana was having twins and lost one. What? Yeah. And so at this point, his mind is rolling like, I'm so tired of losing. Yeah. So then he found out about Blake. Taking, his taking the song, so that was kind of the, his, which we knew. He, that was we, the straw. Yeah, that was the last straw, so we knew he hit Blake for that. And Blake was like, I, you know, I ain't think the song was supposed to get out because Tiana leaked the song out because Mr. Kingley don't like the song. He want her to stick to the algorithm. <laughs> and so it got Treasure. Yeah. And, and Treasure done got big headed already. I said, so we how about you get big headed and you just yeah, got there. We, yeah, we about ready to see your downfall because King Lee gonna do you the same way that he did her. Mm-hmm. Cause you gonna get up there and you're gonna wanna do something on your own and it's not gonna fit the, the Google algorithm. and the Google algorithm and he gonna kick you to the side and get somebody else. Mm -hmm. They gonna let you let you know that. But yeah, man, that 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 was crazy with Tiana losing that because we had no idea because we no. thought we didn't know she was pregnant with twins, lest we miss up. No, we came right back into her having baby, a baby. And so yeah. So, but the important thing of this was Tiana knew something was wrong the whole time she was at the hospital. She was telling the nurse something is not right. They talk about some you're not ready to push and da da da. And she says something is not, not mm -hmm. right. One thing mama I can know. say. When a woman tells you something is not right with her body, mm -hmm. she know. tests don't mean skit. That's right. And immediately she passed out. And next thing we know, we have a boy. But then we see a bat that, um, I don't know what you call that thing in the hospital. The the, um, the plastic bassinet, that's what we used to call oh, okay. it. And I would say incubator. But no, that incubator. was an incubator. And no baby. Yeah, so that was had, that was hard to look at though, man. Yeah, so we had that a was prince hard. and no princess. So remember when he put the necklace around her neck that said princess, and I was like, "What that mean? Why is she why is she reacting like that? Yeah, because that was the baby. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Oh my god!" And they were asking her, "Did she want to go and you know say her last goodbyes and spend her final moments?" I, could, final I don't know if I could do the it, baby. Man. And you know, I think about my cousin. Cause my cousin has lost like three. Mm. I don't At know if six I could have did it though. And I can't imagine. And yeah. she went through that process of, you know, holding the baby and, you know, waiting for the temperature to go cold. I mean, mm. oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't imagine. Even, I can't imagine that. Yeah. It's hard losing somebody that's grown, but somebody that haven't even tasted it's the world created. yet. Yeah, that you created and haven't even tasted the world yet. And, just, and, and it's, it's not gone. fair. Yeah. It is not fair. Especially you got a whole lot of a-holes around here. You wish they were gone. But they just, Hello. some kind of way they just sticking around. <laughs> For See, <real>? like, <laughs> See, so like all the good gone. people is leaving and, and all the bad people are staying. What's the problem? Hello. So I was like, wow. So that's what Hakeem is going through. He going through 
everything that I want and I deserve is being taken away mm -hmm. from me. And I'm tired of people taking away, taking from me. Yeah. And when he finally found the words to express how he was feeling, Blake stole it from him. Even though he told Blake, I want you to do this, but... He yeah. he know he didn't say like that. He didn't want you. He didn't say taking him run down the street with it. He exactly. said just 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 hold it for a minute. Yeah, just hold it. Yeah, cause you know I I can't spit it right now because I'm because of my lung. But I can drink, smoke. <laughs> yeah, all that. Jump up and down in the bed. Mm -hmm. I can do all the that. asthma syndrome. Asthma syndrome. Yeah, we ain't even gonna get on that. Mm -mm. But Tiana left his time for. She said I can't do she this. She said I'm, I'm done. I'm she done. told she told Kingsley I'm done, and she told um Kakeem now I'm done. She said I'm done. I said, well, I don't know what you're going to do, child. Because yeah, you, 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 <laughs> you ain't working at the present. Like the open would say, you ain't working at the <laughs> present. I don't know what you're going to do. So, at the end of the episode, we see uh, Jamal and um, Kai. Both of them done proposed to each other. But Kai beat him to the punch. That was so cute. And he was like, <laughs> he was like you stole my, you stole my, 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 my moves, man. And he said, <clears> so Kai's <throat> looking like, so you don't accept? My proposal, what? Then he pulls out his mm -hmm. ring, and Kai just had a whole moment. Yep. <laughs> and I said, look at him. Just as cute as they want to be. They gonna get married, y'all, and we gonna be invited to the wedding like my cousin. But I'm not that optimistic yet, because every time Jamal falls in love, something, something happens, happens to break his heart. So I'm gonna stick around. I'm not gonna get too excited yet. I'm just gonna just gonna sit on the sideline and just, and just look at you like a comedian. So I'm just gonna look at you. <laughs> see what the what the color of the walls what, what gonna be. be. Yeah. It seems like it's going too good. Cookie's accepting of it. Yeah. And Lulu is accepting of it. So let me tell you. So it's making me wonder now if Kai is in that box. I hope not. Cause we, I mean, they keep saying they're they gonna take they down keep, the lies one by one. So yeah, cause when they when they said the title episode of Death of Grief, I just knew we were gonna find out who's in that casket tonight. But uh. Uh, oh, Lee Daniels man. didn't want to reveal that tonight, so we'll try it again next week. Straight from the VA. <laughs> turn it, turn it Two up, two down. Holla.